Using the XSO Cloud Deployment Wizard is the easiest way to deploy a single node system or a multi-node XSO cluster on public clouds like AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud. The first step to deploy a cluster is to subscribe to one of XSO's offerings on the cloud provider of your choice. You can find the links in our documentation. Now let's go to cloudtools.xsol.com and select a platform. For each platform, you have the choice between different regions. Let's deploy a new XSL cluster on AWS in the region Frankfurt, Germany. In the next step, we'll choose the amount of raw data that you plan to store in your XSL database. Remember, XSL stores the data in a compressed format, so that 10 terabytes of raw data consumes much less space on disk and in RAM. But let's choose 10 terabytes anyway. That's the actual uncompressed size of the data that we want to store. Now you already see a recommended configuration here on the right. Three cluster nodes of type R5-12x large, and in total about one terabyte of memory. This is the so-called basic configuration. It's the cost-effective one. You can see the estimated costs for the AWS instances, the storage cost, and the cost of the XSL database software here on the bottom. When you want a high-performance cluster, choose this configuration. It has similar amounts of RAM and storage space, but has more powerful vCPUs. So choose this for high compute power and maximum concurrency. For most use cases, the balance configuration is well suited. Its settings and its price is between the basic and the high performance configuration. If you manually want to adjust these recommended settings, you can use your configuration as a base for an advanced configuration. Here you can change the instances, the number of nodes, the license model, and so on. The default license model is pay-as-you-go. The cost for the XSO software is charged directly to the cloud provider on an hourly basis. You can also buy a perpetual or temporal license directly at XSO. Then you would choose Bring Your Own License here. When you're finished, click Continue to see your final configuration. You can either directly deploy your cluster on AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud, or download the configuration file and upload it into your cloud console. In just a few minutes, your cluster will be up and running in the cloud.